Time now to check in with TJ for more on our Thursday forecast and the latest on that uh, dense fog advisory. Yeah, Patrick, the National Weather Service just uh, canceled that dense fog advisory for our area. There still are some patchy areas of fog, but we're not looking at that dense fog anymore. Let's take a, a look at what's going on in terms of visibility. We've got uh, about a half mile visibility at times in northern Rhode Island down along the south coast. Visibilities are improving as well. About two miles in Newport over the bridges. I suspect the visibility is still kind of poor, so keep the speeds down over Jamestown Newport Bridge westerly about three mile visibility. Taunton though, we're still seeing some poor visibility down to about third of a mile, so use extra caution while driving. Live city cam picture. You can kind of make out the low clouds out here as we look on off to the south and east. The other problem that we're concerned about and it hasn't been a big problem as far as we can tell in the lower 30s up here in the northwestern part of the state. Any moisture on the roadways likely will be freezing up. Untreated roads certainly could be icy, so allow yourself a little extra stopping room. Again, we haven't really heard too much of, uh, of this being an issue this morning, but it could be in spots. 33 degrees at Emerald Bay Retirement Living in Cumberland. Uh, temperatures are obviously uh, you know, kind of cold across the region. We're looking at two areas of precipitation. We're kind of sandwiched in the middle. We've got rain off to our east. We've got some snow off to our west associated with a front that's just kind of stalling out off to our west. The rain associated with an area of low pressure that's zipping on by. Here's how it all plays out. The rain stays away and the snow stays away through the day. There could be a spot shower mainly over in southeastern mass during the uh, uh, rest of the daylight hours today. But in general, looking at a dry day here in southern New England. 530 this evening. We're looking at cloudy skies, cloudy skies throughout much of the nighttime tonight. And there could be a few rain or snow showers overnight and into tomorrow morning, but uh, it's nothing going to be uh, terribly widespread. Now taking you through the daytime tomorrow, we'll start off with clouds and a shower, but uh, by afternoon we're looking at lots of sunshine here in southern New England. So let's take a look at your future cast. We're looking at some fog and some patchy black ice this morning, still giving it the yellow caution light, but it's not as widespread of an issue as it was earlier in the morning, especially with the fog. 44 degrees in Pawtucket, 44 degrees in downtown Providence as we pinpoint the future cast for you through uh, the afternoon hours. 44 in Riverside, about 43 degrees I think in Warwick. Our winds will become a little bit more northeasterly during the afternoon. 44 in Wickford, we've got about 44 degrees for the forecast for Charlestown. Mainly cloudy skies for the afternoon hours. Cooler, a little cooler than yesterday. About 43 in Woonsocket, 44 degrees in Johnston. And over in southeastern Mass out here, I think we're just generally looking at a cloudy day all day with a chance of a spot shower or two in Bristol County, Plymouth County, Massachusetts, especially Cape Cod and the islands, but we're certainly not looking at a washout out here either. Seven day future cast tomorrow. We'll see some sunshine for the afternoon, about 46 degrees. Now on Saturday it gets a little colder, about 39 degrees with a chance of a snow or rain shower during the day. And on Sunday we are looking at a blend of clouds and some uh, sunshine. A few snow showers are possible this day as well with temperatures even a little bit colder, about 36 degrees on Sunday. Martin Luther King Jr. Day looks okay. 37 degrees with a blend of sunshine and clouds. Chance for some snow showers on Tuesday and Wednesday. You can get the updated future cast from our website. That's at WPRI.com. Just click on weather and you got yourself all kinds of great weather information. Now it's time to get some great traffic.